The final episode is called Father Frank Full of Grace. Um, it's clearly ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Me Karen's so angry about what's happened to her and frustrated that she's just thinking about ways to hurt her dad. And she has limited means at her disposal. She knows that the thing that he's been most appalled by is her sexual behavior. And um, in her rage, she does it. Whoa, wait, what are you doing? And, and then I think slowly realizes this is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> this is a horrible thing. Even Frank finally realizes he's crossed some, some kind of a line that he shouldn't have crossed. So it's Frank's move towards a certain kind of grace and this classical definition of what grace is, which is accepting your faults and accepting the punishment and abuse that's due to you for, for those faults. How can I ever really say I'm sorry? Lip feels oddly responsible for it, and he sees Karen as a victim, even though he's really angry with her. But once he's able to kind of process that through and she comes over to actually apologize to him, which is a huge adult thing for her to do, he immediately forgives her and she forgives him because they both know that, the, that it's all about their fathers. Come with me. Costa Rica, it's beautiful. I have friends there. Fiona is presented in this episode with the opportunity to actually follow Steve. And for the first time, I think she really seriously considers it because what's made apparent to her by the two people whose opinion she cares about most, Lip and Veronica, is that both of them actually think that she should do it and that they'll be okay without her. Well, that's a huge sort of undermining factor to this whole belief system that she has is that nothing can survive without her. She's been doing a wonderful thing in raising these kids, yet at the same time, there's a little bit of a quality of martyrdom to it that she's enjoyed. That's been her identity. What's her identity if it's not that? Who's she going to be? What's she going to do? You deserve a life of your own. Costa Rica. <laughs> she makes a decision to stay, I believe, after really considering it but realizing she's not ready to. But it's that first step of, you know what? This doesn't have to be only my responsibility forever. We've had an extraordinary time making this show. The fact that Showtime allowed us to make it, given the subject matter and the absurdity of what it is we're trying to actually satirize and talk about, has been a tremendous uh, amount of fun. We've got a great cast. We have a wonderful writer's room. We've been having at least as much fun as you're having watching it. Mm -hmm.